Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to uh, another session of Speak Your Mind. I know you guys have been waiting a long time since last week, so uh, you can have your, your, your views and, and, uh, and concern heard. Uh, of course, we know that Speak Your Mind is uh, one of the shows that is throughout the territory, and everyone is listening and tuning in and hope that uh, somebody can you know, express their concerns and their views. But I want to encourage all of you. I know it's, it's challenging, it's hard. Uh, many of you have told me just this past week alone of the many concerns and, and situation that you feel you're in. And there's a lot of other people that are in the same situation. So uh, I want to encourage you to call in if you can. Um, send us your text. You know, you can start sending us your email. JTVlive.net uh, has an email address. You can go online and send us emails, and I'm sure we'll be able to answer those emails. So tonight we have a very good, informative show. We have, um, we're going to be talking to Keto Rima tonight. And after Keto uh, departs the building, we're going to be talking to the Minister of Communication and Work, Mark Ventipole, about the new cruise ship uh, development, the Totola Pear Park. So without any further ado, I just want to get right into it with Keto. Um, Keto Rima is here. Keto. Welcome to our show. Thank you, Sam. Um, tonight, again, we're going to talk to Keto a little bit, just about, you know, something very special that he's putting on tomorrow called the Reggae Express. He's going to tell us a little bit more about it. The idea, of course, uh, it's probably been around for a while, but, you know, there's been a, re a renewed sense to, to push people like Keto, who's a local artist. He's a, he's a son of the soil. And we want you guys to, to know more about Keto and be more intimate with Keto and his music and his, uh, you know, his abilities and, and, and just support him overall. Um, Keto's bringing something that's really good for the communities, for charity. Um, and again, it's, uh, it's for music and fun and entertainment. So without, again, any further ado, Keto, welcome again. And uh, tell us a little bit about what's going on this weekend. Obviously, you have something big coming up tomorrow. So tell the folks what's going on. First off, Sam, I'd like to thank you for having me on and giving me this opportunity. And to remind the public that tomorrow is the Rig Express concert at Naniki. Now this is a family evening of fun and action, um, and we are, we are inviting everybody to come out and enjoy it. It's free admissions, and uh, just just the creation of uh, an annual mini family oriented fest okay. that uh, we want to put on. Um, every year, and, uh, and, and and going forward, it'll definitely be uh, the weekend after the 4th of July and stuff. So we want people to be reminded and to come out and, and support. Um, this here, this the Reggae Express is a song that I've written quite a while back, and the intent of the song was, and I've been launching my musical career. Um, like the lyrics would say, it's coming from a long way and going far. And it's true to the lyrics because it's been the while since the song has been written. But it is now coming into a way it should be. Um, not just the express of dancing, but the express for moments of people, of us getting on board and trying to help each other. So what time is uh what time is the event tomorrow? Uh it starts at two o'clock. Two o'clock, ladies yes, and gentlemen. Um, two o'clock in the afternoon. So two yes. until when? We go from two o'clock until about six thirty seven the latest. Okay. As a family as a family fun uh, evening. So we so yeah. it's a fun afternoon, fun evening. Yes, sir. All right. Is there going to be other um, entertainers or anybody there? Or yes, we're going to have uh, we're going to have DJ there? Hype. He's going to be providing okay. the house music, and then we're also going to have Too Smooth. Uh huh. And then uh, Keto and the Edge will be finishing up the, the evening. Uh, will also be an opportunity to, for people to be a part of the shooting of the. Reggae Express music video. Wow. There's a, there's a dance has been created, and so you have an opportunity to learn this new dance. Uh, we had the Macarena, we had the Electric Slide, and now the BVI has to be the Reggae Express. So it's an opportunity for people to learn the Reggae Express dance. So when next year Gospel Life and we put on the Reggae Express um, mini fest. People would know that dance, and we can have the whole 
island dancing. It. So, so we're looking at shooting a video, uh, yes. so people can get involved with that. People can get involved. Uh, so, folks, if you don't want to be on camera, don't show up. <laughs> or if you know the camera shooting, leave that at that point. But yeah. still, we want you to come down and support uh, the Reggae Express. Keto Rhyme is going to be at Nanaki tomorrow, starting at 3 p.m. in the afternoon. You said? Yeah, two o'clock. Two o'clock in yes. the afternoon. Um, it's two until. Hopefully, when the sun set, we'll still have some good music, food. Yeah. You want you to bring out the family. It's a family-oriented event. Um, obviously, there's going to be you know nanny key. There's water. There's pool. Yes. There's swimming. There's yes. relaxation. And there's good music yes. in the back. There's food. There's beverage will be on sale. Um, but we want all the people to show up. We don't want to scare them. We're thinking that they have been forced to be on camera. We want them to show up and if you don't want to be on camera, no then problem. there's no problem. We just want you to come out and have a fun evening because it's going to be it's going to be full of action. Is there is there going to be a charge for this? No, that's not. The admission is free. Okay. And so we just people want people to roll in there and just kick back and relax and have a great evening. So so again, obviously you're going to have a few things for the kids. Yes, uh, there's going to so be a lot of activities for the kids. There's going to be games, there's going to be face painting, okay. all that stuff that the kids like and you know, um, and probably the bouncy castle. The bouncy castle will be there. Awesome. There's lots of stuff. I, I don't want to tell them everything. I want them to come out okay. and see all the things that are in store for the family. Yeah. Tomorrow. What What is the focus of the uh, the Reggae Express Mini Mini Fest? Why, why are you doing this now? Well, I'm doing this because we want to we want to make this annual thing where, like I said earlier, getting on board the Rake Express and it's not just for dancing because reggae is a music, but we want, to, we want people to get on board the Rake Express um, in a way that we understand that we need to be there for each other. So there's this whole um, mini music fest the proceeds are going towards helping uh, like Sarah Penny's Hands on Volunteers for Haiti. The proceeds are going to help the Haitians. We know that our brothers and sisters are still hurting over there. And so you know, the work is not done. It must continue. So, and so in, addition of bring, in, in addition to bringing good music, a good fun, uh, family fun uh, fest, you're actually raising funds for the yes, needy. Yes, we're actually raising funds for the needy. Okay. And this time for our, our brothers and sisters of in Haiti. And so getting on board the Reg Express is uh, it's a good time, but it's also a good time that helps yeah. Yeah. those uh, people that are in need. Awesome. Awesome. So, Kido, tell me a little bit about yourself. Obviously, I mean, I know you. I, I know you for a while. I mean, I've been coming to Cane Garden Bay since I came back home in 2000, 2001. Yeah. Keto, Keto's has always been a fun place, a happy place. You know, we used to call it the, 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 the mature place. <laughs> you know, um, uh, over the years, of yeah. course, you had a little hard time, you know, with the market going down and yes. people seemed to fall off, but it yes. seemed like they're bouncing back. Yes. What, so what have you done in the past few years now to bring, bring the crowd back? Well, you know, Sam, I, I, I stepped back for a while and I, you know, the business was on the different management. I stepped back for a while and I was, um, the time has come to come back in. And yes, it's true that the market has uh, changed a whole lot. And the movement is not as, as it used to be. But I'm committed to bringing good times to people in the way of their dining needs and entertainment. So um, I continue to push and continue to keep the gazebo alive and well. And like you said earlier, uh, for the mature crowd, I mean, we have some of the young people coming through, but uh, when they get there, they are, they are, they are very mature as well. Mm -hmm. So, because we have, we managed to have a really nice um, mix of people, tourists, locals, the, the middle-aged, older and the younger coming together and just having good, clean fun. Yeah. And so I'm doing everything in my power to keep it alive. Definitely. So, so I mean, just this is just another step to rebrand, yes. rebuild, uh, the new keto. reintroduce you know, folks yes. to keto. Yes. Um, 
you know, looking forward, I mean, you've been all over. You, you travel around. You, I remember a, a couple of years ago, you were down in St. Lucia. I mean, you used to go up north and maybe do a little performance. Yes, um, what, what do you What do you say to some of the young people? You know, who are in the music business, they love music, but they always sometimes feel as if there's no help. How do you, yeah. how do you get from beyond where you are now and, and move forward? Well, you know, we have to remember that our society, uh, as far as um, support to this musical industry is concerned, there has not really been much... Um, help given as uh, and because we are a small country I think there's no people that has really um, dedicate themselves to okay I'm gonna learn band management or artist management and to get you into the right places you know I get you to be heard by the right people but the BVI is, uh, is in no way uh, there's no shortage of really good talent I mean, we are, we are second to none in the world, you know? And so I would like to say to the young people, uh, male and female, who love their music, obviously the reason you're into it is because it is more than likely your calling. It's in your spirit, it's in your soul, and do not give up. You, you keep on writing, keep on playing, keep on singing, or even if it's dancing, um, and I think that we are to a stage now where it's, it's, um, there's more respect being given to it by the, our local people. And so, needless to say, without music, the territory is pretty dead, yeah. you know, any place you live. So, I know, I, and just to cut you off a minute, I noticed that one of your big sponsors is the BVI Tourist Board. Do you think, is there anything in the future where maybe Tourist Board will use you now as a way to, to you know, introduce the BVI, to, you know, Keto, you know, like Jamaica, they have yeah. reggae and they have reggae artists. And yes. those reggae artists, as their name is being mentioned worldwide, people tend to flock, oh, you know, so-and-so is yeah. down there. Yes. Um, is there. Is there a strategy, a marketing plan to maybe utilize Keto? you know, out there? Yes, well, I'll be honest with you, Sam, the tourist boat has been wonderful. And we have, they have used the group several times um, to promote the BVI. Um, I remember back in 2004, we went up to, uh, to New York um, and did a huge show in the Apollo Theater, and it was just an awesome scene. A lot of people. A lot of people. I mean, the people from the the Caribbean, not just Beaver Islanders, were there. And I think after that, because the the tourist board, I have to give them a credit. They don't do anything halfway. They go way out. And so when that concert was done, the other islands were all scrambling. Well, how are we going to top this? We got to do something to top this. So I, I, I want to give thumbs up to the tourist board. And from 2004, the other years in between that we have gone up to Annapolis, uh, Maryland, where the, That's the biggest show. boat show in America is held. And I represented them there quite a number of times. So the tourist board has been on board. Um, uh, things have been a little slow lately with everything, but I know for a fact that moving forward, you know, we will do more great things together. I know for a fact, too, that other artists have been used by the tourist board to promote the BVI, and I'm sure as we go on, the other artists will be able to come on and speak to their involvement and, and you know, how it impacts, you know, people well, visiting the BVI. One of the things I can say, Keto, I mean, just driving around sometimes when I drive a lot of my customers, they always ask me, where do I go for music and entertainment? And I even get people who ask me, who've been here several times before, hey, is Keto still doing his thing? Yeah. And, uh, you know, I know. I know your schedule. I know that, you know, the kind of music you play. I even have some of your music that I tend to play for them. Yeah. Um, but on an everyday basis, you know, some of the market employ that I would try to employ is maybe getting more of the taxi guys and other people involved with knowing your music, being more intimate. Yeah. And maybe a lot of those guys can start spreading the word. What kind of plan you have for things like that? Well, that I, I do have a plan. I have started because I, I would normally find out from the ones. And sometimes you will hear some of them pass by and they will talk about mm -hmm. the place and on their tours. And I've, I've reached out to some of them and given them CDs 
um, to just play, you know, so people can have an idea of the type of music that I do, the type of entertainment that they will find when they come to Kidos. Um, Sometimes it's a bit of a challenge because I think people sometimes forget, being a local artist, you get forgotten a lot. So sometimes they will stick to what they have from overseas. Mm -hmm. But I'll continue to do that. And um, I'm sure that with time, they too will remember to definitely pump it up. So we're definitely looking at a yearly event. Oh, definitely. And it's something that, again, we want to start you uh, promoting more of. Um, obviously, we want to get um, keto out there. You have a beautiful website. Uh, the people who did that website, they did a hell of a job. I mean, they have uh, good videos on there Thank of you. some of your concert. I think I thought that was a brilliant idea. Thank uh, you. Maybe we can start like just spontaneously sending those uh, that information yes. else. Um, yeah. But in in in, uh, in wrapping up, what what would you like the the general public to know about keto and? the Reggae Express and the whole purpose again? Well, i like them to know that I, I consider myself very blessed. God has blessed me with a lot of talents. And I decided, I've, I've, I lived abroad for a while and I could have stayed abroad, but I decided to come back home to my beloved British Virgin Islands and share my talents with my people here. And I intend to do that for the rest of my life. I would like him to know that I continue to write songs of my love for the BVI, love for my people. I make my contributions in the way I can. And I'm never going to give up the fight. I, I want to keep the music alive because I want to keep the consciousness alive uh, in, in, in my community. Uh, the Reggae Express, like I say, is coming from a long way and going far. I'm going to continue to um, not just dance away on the Reggae Express, but reach out a hand to help others while we're on this express. Good. Keto Rima, son of the soil, I must take a minute to thank all the people who have supported me throughout the year. Sam, you're one of those people. And I do, I really, really appreciate it. And, and I want them to know how much I appreciate them as well. Um, even though it's a lot slower these days, you know, my people still come through and visit and and party and hang out, and it's a good feeling. And I want them to know that I'm planning on being there, you know, as long as I lend me breath and I'm around. Yeah. I also like to take this opportunity, Sam, to just, if I may, to you know, shout out my sponsors for the for tomorrow's activity. Um, the Beaver Tourist Board definitely top the list. Uh, Coca-Cola, Rotan Wholesale, Q and Law, the big beautiful Trimaran, Nanny Key Resort, Cape Air, Good Hands Trucking, A Cut Above Hair Salon, Hunter's Gut, Green VI, Tool Tongue, CTL, and of course Kito's Gazebo. Awesome. And so and I want to thank you, Sam, for giving me this opportunity to come on and remind the public about tomorrow. And I'm looking forward to seeing you all there. It'll be a joy. Well, I, I would just like to say, Keto, before I forget, um, all of those sponsors that you just mentioned, yeah. if you can get some of them to sponsor our show, we yeah. can bring you on even more often. <laughs> right, you okay. know, JTV would love to. Uh, <laughs> JTV would love to come and uh, shoot and, and, and continuously put your information yeah. up on screen. All so right. when people in their spare time, yes. you know, will have something worthwhile looking at. I mean, they we show videos of people from all over the world, and they're not giving us anything. Yeah, but it's to fill up air time. And I would prefer to see a keto, you know, a rhymer performance on a regular base. So, um, but keto, I think it's a it's a brilliant idea. Again, we just want to remind the, the viewers that this is a this is a worthy cause. It ain't just keto out there trying to make money, but he's raising money as well to help needy people down in Haiti. So, you know, come on out. You don't have anything to do after church tomorrow at 2 o'clock. Many of you go home after church and just sit around and, and be bored and be fussy. Bring the kids out. They're going to be event and activities for the kids. Of course, if you haven't been to Nanny Key, they have a whole world down there of new stuff. They got a beach. They got pool. They're going to have, you know, kitty stuff to play with. They're going to have good music, good food. And again, Keto's raising money 
for families down in Haiti. So, um, Keto, thanks a lot. Thanks Thank for coming through. Ladies and gentlemen, don't go. Um, give Keto one last word. Um, we, when, when we come back, hopefully the Minister for Communication and Work, Mark Vanderpool, will be here with us. We're going to have, hopefully, a, a fruitful and spirited discussion on the cruise development. Many of you have stopped me over this past week because of what I, uh, what we were talking about last week. Uh, obviously, you have a lot of questions, a lot of concerns. So, um, call us back. You know, stay tuned, um, and, and hope um, you guys can partake in that discussion as we come back. So, Kido, one last word. Yes, Sam. Thanks. I'd like to um, shout out our manager Kim Harish. She's been working really hard on this whole Reggae Express video journey. Thumbs up to you, my good lady. She's a hard worker, dedicated, and also to Sarah Penny, who's created a dance. She and her dancing group. Uh, have created the dance Rick Express and I know that everybody's gonna enjoy it it's very easy to do and again to the general public for their support throughout the years and I would like to um, in advance thank them for showing up tomorrow I know we're gonna have a wonderful afternoon into the evening and so I look forward to seeing you all there peace and job bless. All right, thank you, Keto. Yeah. All right, ladies and gentlemen, stay tuned. We'll be right back. We're just gonna take a break, and hopefully when we come back again, we'll have the Minister for Communication and Work, Mr. Mark Vanderpool, with us.